the city, he got his sushi. He said he took a lot of wires, and then he was like, see, I didn't even need a sling, ma. They told me my hand is to be elevated. I said, hell no, the pain don't face me, ma. But after we watched the game, I said, and I asked him, like, ma, you think he took me? He said, oh, I killed him, ma. You would have killed him. Dude, he was running hitches on them all day. Pick six, ma. Pick six. Oh, really? He was like, but after 10 minutes, I was like, Buggy, get the hell out of here. Take me back to the hospital. I'm sick. Sick. Makes me sick. And then they went back. Damn, but they I went back because he was hurting. <laughs> I was just dying. Damn. Oh, and then he told us, he said, on oh, his freshman year, when they went to the dome, the Smurf turf, where's he stay? And he was like, the security guard wouldn't let him in. This is big Samoan guy. And he was like, he's like, damn. He's like, nigga, you know who I am? He's like, he's like, no. He's like, well, you better recognize, homie. First teamer right now. And then he was like, he was like, hey, coach, what's, what's up with this? And after that, Kyle Woody was like, oh, let them in. He's like, he's like, see, homie, recognize. Best dual linebackers. Because it was him and Kyoni. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, best dual linebackers. And he was looking at him like, best dual linebackers. He looking he looking back back at him. Oh, best of Samoan guy. <laughs> he was like, hey, coach. What's, like, up? what's up with this? <laughs> and after that, after that, oh, let him in, let him in. And he's like. See, only recognize best through a linebacker that you want by the big support. <laughs> <laughs> the the smurf turf nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it was funny when they were talking about how uh, he was at Western. Now, man, when we were at Western, man, yeah, everyone, coach, coach was like, because the jerseys weren't ours. After the season, we had to get the jersey back. <laughs> Not me, Keone. No. We're the best mm-hmm. dual. We're the best dual <laughs> linebacker. Dude, he still has that jersey at the yeah, house. Yeah, he still has the jersey. He's like, he's like, the jersey's not ours. Everyone has to fundraise. <laughs> not me and Keone. <laughs> not me and Keone. <laughs> we have to fundraise to say, Coach, just make sure I have my cleats in my, in my jersey by the season. <laughs> and then Coach Al. Oh, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mark, Keone. Uh, just put your songs down. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, see, Ma, that's how it is back then. You know what I mean? Because they needed me. They needed me. They didn't meet Keone. We were the best dual linebacker. They couldn't have Keone in there with Matt. <laughs> Matt, Ma. They don't need Matt. They need Ma. They can't put me in without Keone. Nah. They put me in with Matt. No. It's not Ma and Matt. It's, it's not Ma- Keone and Matt. It's Ma and Keone. <laughs> that's how it was, Ma. We, we leave. You know, everyone goes to hometown buffet for the team for the team lunch before we come back for the game. Nah, nah man, we me, go me get and Kill, me and Kill, we, yeah, me we and Kill, we go get a forty, we get a forty, <laughs> top it down with peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That's what you need, ma. You can't, you, you shouldn't go eat all that you just, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You're not hearing me, ma. Cause the peanut butter has got the peanut and the oils from the peanut. It's gonna soothe your body. It's the proteins. Watch, it's the proteins, ma. And the jelly is a good source of nutrition, ma. What about the forty? <laughs> and the bread is good. Sir. That's your grains right there, ma. Crustless. Mm-hmm. You gotta cut the crust off. I was like, you gotta cut the crust off. He's like, oh, it's still that late. time is not for you still right late. now. It's not. Like, don't worry about the forty. Don't worry about yeah, the forty. That time is not for you right now. Don't worry about that. That's what I'm telling you. I don't want you to go through that, because mom. Because you can't handle it, mom. Because you can't handle it. <laughs> he's like, we, he's like, we, like, we get, we get a nice little peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Wash it down with a forty, and then right before we go to the game. We we'll smoke some weed. <laughs> we walk into the game 45 minutes late. We missed, but we missed all the rundowns. Mock the run through. Up, nigga. <laughs> missed everything. Nigga. We come jogging out there. We cut our jersey, cut our shoulders, and everybody else mocked <laughs> us. Just me and me, ma. That's, that's how you knew. That's how you knew. You come to the game, you don't have to look, ma. You don't have to look. You just see the two six packs, mine and Keone's. And you say, that's my call and that's Keone. What's up, Connor? like, Yo, Mahe, where's Keone? He's like, he's in the locker room, coach. He's like, come here. They went in the room, like, like, you two are supposed to be the fucking leaders of this team. You guys are the best linebackers in Orange County. What the fuck going on? <laughs> and, after that, him, and after that, he was like, he was like, he was like, coach, man, what the hell are you talking about? He's like, don't play stupid, Mahe. Keone, I can smell the weed. He's like, <laughs> and then in my eyes, he threw the helmet on the ground. He's like, oh, what the hell are you talking about? We're straight. We just went to Auntie Joanne's house. You know Auntie Joanne, coach. And then he's like, he's like, disappointed. He started crying. He started crying. He's like, you guys just made me 
Man, I'm so disappointed. I've never had linebackers like you guys before. But you guys are so undisciplined. Like, but at the same time, you guys are studs. And he's like, after the game, and he, went up, he was crying, crying. He's like, you guys played so good tonight. And after that, after that, um, my life's, my life's a um, running back coach. Cause my line played linebacker and running back at Western, and my line running back coach said he found he found the um, he found a blunt on the floor when they when they came out from the locker room. Kill his bag. Yeah, he killed his bag. And then after that, the coach was like, the next day, the coach was like, damn, that's good. He's like, my line's like, that's the Hawaiian stuff, coach. <laughs> That's the Maui Wowie coach. Yeah, that's that Maui Wowie coach. That's the Hawaiian stuff. My life's running back coach. It's so funny though. He's like, like, see, Ma, everybody got a everyone everyone's jersey. They had to return it by the end of the year. (laughs) Not me. Not Keone. Not us. Everyone has to fundraise, Ma. See, Not me. Like, see, <laughs> see, so, they're like, Ma, you know those, you know the annual car wash, you know your football team does it, right? He's like, he's like, yeah, in the front of the, by the rocks. He's like, yeah. See, while everyone's car washing, me and Kyoni's getting our car wash. Ha 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 ha. No, he does that laugh. He said that they're washing me and Kyoni standing outside drinking a 40 at Tyler Park. You know the park, right? Ha 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 ha. I'm like, this guy, like, this guy, I'm like, look at him. See, then when me and Kyoni get drunk, when we feel good, you know? And we just walk over there real fast, try to see how much money we raised. You know, we say, tell everyone, good job, good job. You know, because they was paying for our cleats, Ma. They was paying for and our then, jerseys. And then they get the money. <laughs> and then Coach, how come? And my line gets the money. He's like, here, Coach, be fun. He's like, good job, Ma. Hey, you made me proud. <laughs> he talks like that? Yeah, yeah that's what Coach talks like. I don't want to tell a thing. Yeah, but, uh. Your uncle would be proud. And that's what they told me, dude. He was like, he was like, yo, my head. I know you play tight end, but we need to like tackle. And honestly, I can see you at the next level play tackle. <laughs> You're just a monster. I was like, coach, I don't want to play tackle. Come on now, you know I'm, you know I'm like the best tight end on the team right now. He's like, he's like. I can get you a USC scholarship, brother. Right now. <laughs> yeah. That's why me and I must have looked up play guard, nigga. And I played tackle. We were both on the right side, and then Chris played tight end. And then that's why I must have left. I must have looked left to the base. And I left to go. I didn't want to play tackle. Hell no. I was boring. Like, during the offseason, something we did it, and then like spring, and then the Blue and White game. Shut up. Oh, and he told Lafayette, he's like, yo, Lafayette, where's your brother, Leka? We need him. And he's like, yeah, well, let me tell you something. He's in the Bay Area. He's never going to play another down in his life, his brother. He can take that to the bank. <laughs> see, if he was here, I could get him a USC scholarship his senior year. Take that to the bank, Lafayette. Take it. <laughs> Coach Howard, that's all you tell me. Hey, you know the one where the Samoan guy went to the funeral, nigga, and it was like three weeks later?